Hey guys, welcome back. We're just going to do an update on last week's garden tour. Just want to show you a few things that have been added, a few things have changed. This will be fairly quick. Um, and then next week we'll do another full tour. Um, so why don't you get your wellies, meet me in the garden. Hey guys. Um, just wanted to say first of all, thank you so much for so many people watching the video uh, Last week it's only been out for a few days and got lots of views the first few days So I hope that means you're enjoying getting to look around the garden. I uh, certainly enjoy bringing you along for the tour um, Today I just want to give a fairly quick update because um, We can do these tours and they can last an hour if I talk about everything So just going to kind of update on what's different from last week, what's changed a lot So um, thanks again, so let's go, let's check it all out Alright everybody, so here at the entrance to the garden um, last week These tubs had nothing in them uh, this week I did acquire some more plants. Um, the first two tubs have uh, banana peppers in. I kind of decided I might need to do some sweet things rather than just all hot stuff. So um, that's the first two tubs. This tub has a variety of things. This is a Trinidad scorpion. This is actually just another jalapeno. And this one here is a cayenne pepper. So that's um, kind of completes, I think, for now, the pepper plants in the, in the garden. Um, the other side, these are doing really well. It's going to take a, a week or two for these others to catch up, for sure. But these are jalapenos. And then in here we have the one jalapeno, and these are the red Etuda um, bell peppers. So looking forward to seeing how they turn out. Let's have a quick look around this side. Last week I had the beans getting started. These took a little bit of a hammering from the uh, water coming off the roof there. So I moved these buckets from over here to where they're not catching the water coming off the roof. However, I lost a few. These, I'm just gonna, actually, let's just take that out. I'm just going to plant a couple of other um, new ones in there. So we'll have I'll put three bean plants in each in each bucket. That should be fine. Now the Kajari melons. These are doing really well. They have taken off, um, climbing up the trellis here. Help that through there a little bit. And already look down here some flowers starting to open so that's exciting um, these definitely have come up several more inches from last week doing very well hopefully that will continue it these things just look so great when these trellises get covered first time I saw these was on Jeff Soward's um, video about tomatoes and she's had these arch trellises just covered up with um kajari melons beans and speaking of beans over here on this side these are the red noodle beans they have all come up from last week and i put that netting over there just while they get started i don't actually think anything's jumping in there and trying to get them but just to protect them I did that so um, those are going so those will get over up on the trellis here and they should climb pretty fast up there too that they grow quite prolifically now, this is pretty cool too the bananas it's interesting the smaller these stems were to start with the more success I've had with them so these both of these two plants popping up new leaves frequently this one has this leaf was new last week when we taught now we have another leaf so that's just going gangbusters love that over here the cucumbers a little bit slower to get going than I thought they would but it's um we had that cool snap this week so we're gonna see more heat this week and I think they'll thrive in that 
the ones on the other side have always been a little bit behind um, but they're coming along slowly too now the Chinese uh, multicolored spinach um, last week I tried a little bit of this while we were going around actually that evening I went and cut a bunch of it off and we mixed it in with some other salad uh, greens and it really was good and we had that with some chicken it was a nice meal enjoyed it here's the lauki um, it's doing well looks very healthy um, if anybody's ever had any of these the uh, leaves have a very velvety feel to them and uh, and they have kind of an unusual odor to them as well tomatoes coming along well this is the cluster that um, I put a piece of tape around here to remind me that these are the ones let's see I lost you there hold on um, to remind you these are the ones that um, we did in the little tool bag so I know these were pollinated by themselves so I'm going to save the seeds out of these ones to get some more of the Chadwick cherries for next year and here's the early girl tomatoes um, starting to set fruit um, lots of flowers on all of these tomatoes and the fruits starting to set on most of them the um, banana plants coming along kind of slowly the big one hasn't put out another leaf yet but it's close this one is putting out a leaf this one's put out another one so they're coming along okay now last week i told you this trellis here it's a eight foot trellis i'm gonna alternate um, heavenly blue morning glories with moonflowers which will give me blue blooms during the day and white at night and the white have a very strong fragrance to them so i'm really looking forward to seeing how that's going to look i hope it's as stunning as i've got it made, made out to be in my mind so um in view of that i was going to show you these seeds i put these in just a few days ago um these are the morning glories still waiting on one to come up right here but all of the others are up all of the moonflowers are breaking the surface now those in the past have been a little tricky to get going i think i can tell you fairly safely that you need that soil to be quite moist um, and i left these outside because it's warmer outside and i think they just like, really like the heat so germination probably worth waiting till you can either just put them in the ground or or it's warm enough anyway to get them to germinate in the house or outside so the other good thing here is that they won't scald um, these may have just a little bit but i think they'll be fine and the, the moonflowers will of course not need to be hardened off because they've already been brought out here so that's good they, those look like they're doing good i did break down and i planted some marigold seeds but these i found at a big box store um just under four dollars for eight of them and i'm going to put some of those around the tomato area um just to you know as a companion plant so i'll be putting those in this week and um let's just go have a look at a couple more things I'm trying to not get hung up talking about every single thing but look here i gotta show you this these black-eyed susans are just so close to opening all the way up there's one that's really close um, these usually wait till June we might beat June we've got a few of them right there but look at all these flower heads we're gonna have a lot of black-eyed Susans that should be really stunning when we get there bee bomb still coming along now last week I said this was gonna be a project area took my stirrup hoe and cleared this out and put a few things in now some of these things um are poisonous um got to be real careful with things like foxglove around your pets this one back here 
but um, we're still behind a hot wire, remember? So I don't have issues with my dogs getting up in here. Um, but this just looks so much better than it did last week. Um, I'm kind of happy I got to to do that. I looked back on the video and thought, God, that's a big mess. I don't really need to be showing everybody that, but you know, it is what it is. Put a little fern down in here. This usually stays fairly wet um, and that's ideal. This is shaded almost all day. So there should be a good area for that, I hope and let's see i did i don't know if you noticed we walked past some of the other things um i did deadhead all the roses where they needed it this this one needed pretty much everything to come off so we'll get another flush of those in a few weeks sometimes changes are not always good see this shredded up coleus here that was courtesy of our little carver poo puppy who decided to help rearrange that i guess she thinks she knows how to prune well that was just a quick tour around i hope you enjoyed that uh, stay with me for next week and be looking out because we'll do another garden tour we'll look at everything and see how it's doing and we'll spend a little time on on a couple of those things that people have expressed interest in and i will see you next week if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and share if you want to. Give me a thumbs up. I always enjoy it when my viewers do that. I hope you all have a great week. Take care. Bye now.